<laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I think the, one of the biggest problems, and you've really captured it very well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that this year's fertilizer, the arrival of fertilizer has been late. Last year, I'll give you a, br a brief history. Last year, the company which was uh, mandated by the government, it's always the government always invites bids for people to distribute fertilizer. Yara were the winners of the bid last year. And it was easy because they have capacity, so they distributed fertilizer at real time and quickly, and people got it easier, and the farmers. Mm -hmm. This year, the government tried to send the bid out. Most of the companies who tendered quoted a higher price. So they went with a company, I think they're going with Mavuno, and I do not believe Mavuno has that capability of distributing it as quickly as it used to be. Remember, in some parts of this country, it's already rainy season. People are already planting. Fertilizer is supposed to land this week from Russia. Remember, we import our fertilizer from either Russia, Ukraine, or Morocco. Morocco has the biggest phosphate in the world, so they produce more fertilizer than any other country as well. So in Kenya, we can't produce fertilizer because, and, and that's why I ask Kenyans, you must be also read a bit, understand that Kenya cannot produce fertilizer. We do not have phosphate in this country. So you have to import. Phosphate is only available in some countries which I've mentioned. So if someone goes to Kariandusi to say that he's bringing new soil boosters, it is neither here nor there because you do not have that mineral here which produces the, 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 the soil booster does not require phosphorus it doesn't. they tell you that 